We all love weddings, don't we? We love to see the bride in her white dress, to see the groom in his tuxedo, to see the parents, maybe even see all of them shed some tears. We're able to gather with family and friends, to hear great music, hopefully a great homily, and to participate in this great sacrament. But one of the things that people love the most, especially about the procession at a nuptial mass, are the ring bearer and the flower girl. It's that flower girl in particular. Everyone oohs and ahs, and they're so delighted to see this little girl with her bouquet of roses or a small collection of rose petals just sort of preparing the way for the bride and her father as they enter the church. In so many ways, this reality is evocative of the saint that I want to speak about today, St. Therese of Lisieux, or St. Therese of the Child Jesus. She was a, 20th, a 19th century French nun who died at the age of 24 from tuberculosis. She also serves as the patroness of missionaries, which is really amazing because she never really left the walls of her convent. I use that image of the flower girl because Therese understood something fundamental about herself and her relationship with the Lord. As she found herself contained within the walls of that convent, she recognized that these great deeds, these heroic acts of love and sacrifice that we read in the lives of so many saints had escaped her. That she would never be afforded that opportunity for that one great moment but instead she was to serve as that who spreads flowers, who lays these petals, who prepares the way. Instead of these great sacrifices, she's the one who sort of offers these small sacrifices done with great love, done with great charity for those in her community. Because she recognized that in her smallness, she could encounter the Lord in a particular way. And so she serves for us as a doctor of the church, which means that her writings and her theology plays in a, play in a, an important role in the life of the church and its teaching. And so she spent her life, from the time she was a young girl, losing her mother at the age of four, four and a half, to the time that she died at the age of 24, not much later. She spent her life devoted to these small moments, small acts, these concentrated acts of love, done with great kindness, compassion for those in her own community. And so it's a reminder for each one of us, brothers and sisters, that so often we find ourselves looking for what God wants us to do, and we find ourselves imagining these great moments where we defend the faith, where we defend the gospel. And indeed, if that moment should come to us, hopefully we have the grace to accept the challenge placed before us. But more often than not, the Lord is inviting us into a very monotonous existence. It is the small grind and the small sacrifice of giving our lives for the sake of those in our community, within our family, according to our vocation. So it comes in small ways, doing the dishes with a smile on our face, doing the laundry, doing our homework well, sacrificing in these small ways because we simply care for the other. It's like that of the flower girl who takes the rose petals and prepares the way of the bride who comes. So we prepare the way of the Lord, we invite others into this reality, and we take this same path that Therese has shown us as we make our way towards heaven.